we study a case of fatal radiation exposure to Louis Slotin, a Canadian scientist who worked at a nuclear facility in Los Alamos, New Mexico in 1946. He was conducting a demonstration to show how to bring the exposed core of a nuclear weapon to near criticality. This operation, which was tricky, was already known to be very dangerous and had the name Tickling the Dragon's Tail. He was attempting to bring together two beryllium-coated hemispheres around a plutonium core without allowing them to touch. He was using a screwdriver to keep the hemispheres separated until the screwdriver slipped for a moment. The shell of beryllium fully covered the core, causing the neutrons that were radiating off of the plutonium to trigger a nuclear chain reaction. At that moment, a nearby individual reported seeing a blue flash of light and felt a wave of heat on his face. Slotin reacted quickly to separate the hemispheres to stop the reaction. The blue flash that was seen throughout the room was caused by electrons in the air being excited into higher energy states from the radioactivity. When the electrons dropped back to their unexcited states, they released high energy photons that produce the blue flash. It is estimated that Slotin received an instant dose of 21 sieverts of radiation that consisted of neutrons, gamma rays, and x-rays. A five sievert dose is typically fatal for humans. His hand eventually became waxy and blue, and it developed large blisters. The symptoms of radiation sickness began to appear shortly thereafter. Slotin vomited several times in the next few hours, but stopped by the morning of the next day. At first, his health appeared fair. His left hand was initially numb and tingly, but escalated into a more painful sensation. By the fifth day of treatment, Slotin's white blood cell count had significantly dropped. He also suffered from temperature and pulse rate fluctuations. Additional symptoms appeared, such as weight loss, abdominal pain, and nausea. More serious symptoms included paralysis of intestinal activity, gangrene, and the complete malfunction of bodily functions. The medical staff described his internal injuries as a three-dimensional sunburn. On the seventh day, he started to experience mental confusion. Eventually, he fell into a coma and died on the ninth day. As terrible as this incident was, it also resulted in increased radiation safety standards for nuclear laboratories.